over 10 years and during this time i've seen it all i've seen the highs to the, seen the in between now i've i've um i've gone through the rough patches i have learned so many things you know about how to make your business survive here in nigeria and in this video i'm going to be sharing with you every single thing i have learned so you know to avoid money Starting a business is actually something that is tough, it's not for the little liver. And if you have one that is striving, then you must have some skills to your person, you must have some knowledge that you can put in place to see your business to go to this extent. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where I share tips and ideas that will boost your income both online and offline. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you 10 tips that will help you um, get started you know, in the business world in Nigeria. Now, not to discourage you, but the very first tip you need to know, the very first thing you need to know about starting a business in Nigeria is that um, the business world is a very tough one. Now, um, starting a business anywhere is tough, but I think it's a little bit tougher in Nigeria because we keep having our policies you know, that come up out of nowhere. Sometimes these policies will not favor you. Okay. Now, I've had friends whose businesses went to Bailey because one policy came up, you know, and they really couldn't ride the tide and they had to you know, just fold up. You know, if, if you guys be real, if you remember, I think like a year ago, there was a policy that came out banning um, Okada, that is a motorcycle, the use of motorcycles anywhere in Nigeria, you know, and what happened is that a lot of businesses had to, you know, go under. Those who really couldn't, like, who weren't resilient enough to, you know, go with the tide, had to go under. Now, this was a, a period of Oke, you know, Okada and the likes, you know, and there is these, um, this company that was made like really easy because I remember I, I took a lot of these um, OPE especially you know, just to meet up my appointment but when the, the, the policy came up you know I saw the, the, the company went under and you know, a lot of them had to convert to other kind of business like logistics and all that but this is really one thing you should know in the Nigerian industry is that the business world is not really too easy to navigate you really would have you would, you would need a really strong backbone, a backbone to be able to survive and go with the tide. So that's the very first thing you need to know. Now the second tip you should know is that you need to work twice as hard to get a successful business. Now I see or I hear a lot of people say ah they're tired of working, they would like to work for themselves, they're tired of answering SAT to anybody. But the thing is that when you have your own business you, you don't just answer SAT to one person but you answer SAT to Several persons. You know, everybody that walks into your, everybody that comes into your store, into your office, is your boss. You know, and it's it's up to you to keep this boss. Okay. Now you have to go the extra mile. You have to be willing to do. You know, go above and beyond to ensure that your customer, your boss, now is satisfied. You know, that is the only way you're going to be keeping this boss in your, you know, within your business. So the if you know you are someone who really find it hard. You know um, answering to authority then you probably want to like hold on a little bit before starting your business because you're going especially if you're in an industry like mine i am into the fashion industry i deal with women and even though i'm a woman i know how um how to please some women can be and so this is one thing you really want to consider as well okay now the third thing you should know is that a money management skill is a must okay now um i say a lot of business a lot of business most businesses about 65 percent of all businesses um go pay up within five years and that's because um a few skills are lacking there's a business management skill there's a money management skill at every time point in time you need to know how much is coming into your business how much is in your creation you, know, you need to know where everything is going into you need to plan okay so money management skill is a must okay it's something you have to learn you know and if it, if you cannot learn it then you should actually employ someone to look into this aspect of your business okay now one thing i also see people do is take out of their business at will now probably you have this um, um party to attend and maybe there's this actually be costly as should be and then you take out of your business just just to purchase this actually or any other thing now unless your business is actually making enough to cover these um excesses then your business will suffer for it okay so one thing you want to do is you want to learn to pay yourself last okay 
every money that comes into your business should be accounted for. There should be the um, operating um, finance, more like the head running cost. Then there should be money you pay yourself, okay, but this should come last, really, after you have settled every other thing. You know, that you need um, very good people skill to survive in the business industry. Now, I deal in the fashion industry. I am into fashion, I'm into um, looks, you know, and I don't just deal in fashion, I deal with women. And if you are a lady, you already will have an idea how a little bit difficult it is to manage women. You know, I, I have women come into my um, shop wanting a particular outfit, you know, and sometimes, you know, you you profile, I profile them and I can see that what they are actually requesting for will not really suit their body type. And so how do you tell them? How do you do that without you know like offending them? And so these are skills you would need. You would need skills to manage your customers because every customer that comes into your shop, into your office, should live happier than they came in. And so these are skills you would also need as well. You will need um, to learn how to relate to people. You know, just do everything possible to ensure that um your customers are kept happy because that's the only time they will refer your business. You need um to build a really strong team. Now, at the very beginning, you might be able to do a lot of things yourself, you know, but as you start to go, there are some things that you won't be able to handle, you know, and trying to do these things, you're just stretching yourself, thin unnecessarily. You know, so you will need to um, employ people, employ good hands, you know, sometimes you will need to train these people to the extent where you are satisfied with their level of performance, okay, and only then are you sure that, okay, you can actually, like, sit back and know that your business is still going on as smoothly as you would like okay so you want to look into building a strong team as well you also want to ensure that your business has a unique selling point now look at it this way you have a business okay and if you look within your locality you probably find about three or four people not too far from you who are into the same thing as well now ask yourself if you were the customer why should you pick you okay now your answer should be your unique selling um your answer should be your unique selling point okay now it could be because you render top-notch customer service it could be because your product has an edge over your competition you know, just find that one thing that you can build your marketing plan or your marketing strategy on that one thing that will pull customers to you and keep them within your business okay now another thing you want to look into that you should have a really strong marketing plan now Marketing is the lifeblood of every business. No matter how good your business is, if you are not marketing, if you are not promoting it, then you find that you can you gradually start to die. Now my business, my fashion business should be about ten years this year or slightly more, but officially ten years this year. And at the beginning, I know I struggled to get customers into my doors because I think I was relying more on people just seeing my work, more like from the front, the storefront, and just coming in and. Granted, I got a few people in that way, but the bulk of my um, the bulk of my clients has come in from Instagram, coming from Facebook. So ensure your 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 business is, is out there, you know, like more like in people's faces in an unobtrusive way. You know, at every point in time, people should know what you do. People should see what you do. You know, get on Pinterest, get on Instagram. These seem to be more like the trending um social media platforms right now to ensure you are there to get into fashion create um fashion um, items that speak you know oh, and you could also wear you know what you make as well like what i have on to ensure that you are constantly marketing yourself because only then can you do only then can you remain in business because really if you're not advertising if you're not promoting your competition is and very soon they will take your customers away from you Okay, now another thing you want to also do is that you want to find a mentor. Now, especially at the beginning. Now, the beginning of every business is really tough. Okay, you are, you are going to be putting in a lot of effort and you will not be getting the resultant, the equivalent result. But, and it can be very discouraging. Okay, now you also, uh, you also will probably take some decisions that will not be avoided, that could actually be detrimental to your business. However, if you have a mentor, someone who is putting you through, you would know to avoid certain decisions, certain um, policies before you even implement them. And that's one of the benefits of having a mentor. You know, that's the fact that they give you speed. You know, so you're avoiding their mistakes and you're going out a lot faster. Another um, advantage to having a mentor is that they make you aware of opportunities much quicker. You know, there could be um, threats 
business known somewhere there could be um, opportunities for businesses in your niche that you probably are not aware of but because they have gone way ahead of you they know of these businesses okay and they can let you in the know if you are you know under them okay so that's another thing you want to know now the final point i want to mention is that um you should be investing in your business name now most people are used to having um personal investments in their own names which is superb okay but okay look at it this way you have an investment that grows at compound rates okay and uh, probably put in maybe ten thousand this month by the end of one year that money even at ten percent um increment that money wouldn't be worth eleven thousand because it would have gone at a compound rate now while you're investing for your business for yourself you also invest for your business because this is um not just multiplying your money you're multiplying it at a compound rate okay now when i see a lot of um, people um being able to afford a particular kind of lifestyle if you get closer to them and probably are in the same business with them and you wonder why how they can okay now when you get closer to them you find that they actually have more like a free investment in their business business name that can um that skaters that can actually make them afford this particular kind of lifestyle this is something you want to look into as well so guys that's all for today the 10 um tips you need to um grow a profitable business in nigeria no, if I hope you've learned to learn a thing or two, or I hope you've learned to learn a few things from today's video. And I share things like this regularly, um, financial tips to boost your income. If you would like to get more tips like this, so um, consider subscribing. Click that red subscribe button at the bottom of this video, and then turn on your notifications icon so you don't miss any of our videos. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.